Hello my lovely crafters. This is Crafty Sue 519. Welcome to my channel. And today is my Saturday mishmash. This one's going to be a little unusual. I have a beautiful thank you card to show. I have two hauls, one a bit unusual, and some project shares. So, and maybe a bit of chit chat. Anyhow, this has been one heck of a week. Oh my goodness. I was having trouble with my cell phone. I kept getting messages from my um, AT&T saying that I had used up all my data. Well, my month had just started, just days before, maybe a week. And I had been out of the house once and all my data was gone. It was like, how could that happen? I was out of the house once. Maybe I did something on my phone for a few seconds, but they said I had used up all my data. So I asked them to tell me how I've done it. Well, the first person couldn't explain. And suddenly the phone went dead. So I called them back. And I got a different person on the phone and I asked them about it. And I said, yep, you've used up all your data. And of course, tried to upsell me four gigs more of data, which I absolutely did not need. And I said, okay, I get it now. This is just a scam for you to try to sell me more. And I'm not doing it. So I hung up. And then Grumpy and I went to the AT&T store. I says, let me talk to somebody directly. I hate talking to these people on the phone. And we went to the AT&T store. We were waited on right away. There was nobody in there. And we had a young gentleman and he knew nothing, nothing. Didn't even look up anything. And finally just looked at me and said, I only sell phones. I said, that's it. I am done. I have been with you people for over 20 years and I'm finished. We walked out, went to T-Mobile and I switched carriers. Now I've had T-Mobile for, I don't know, five or six days, I guess. So far, no issues. But with T-Mobile, because I'm over 55, we only pay $55 for both of us and we get unlimited calling, texting, and data. What more could I ask for? And that's less than what I was paying at AT&T for one gig of data, and now I have unlimited. So if you've got really expensive phone plans, check them out because there's always something better out there. And I cannot believe that we were with this company for over 20 years and we were treated like that. Anyhow, that's that's one woe for the week. <laughs> it's been crazy. It's just been a crazy week. So let me show you the beautiful thank you card I got. I got this lovely thank you card in the mail the other day. It says, hello, it's got little gold butterflies. I love her gold glasses. She's holding a cup of coffee. How cute is that? Cute is that? Love it. Love it. And this is from Bridget Murray. She won my last giveaway. And that's what she did. She sent me a thank you card for that, which she absolutely did not do. I mean, have to do. She won my giveaway. And in it, she's got some cute little puppy and kitty stickers and some lovely green enamel dots. My favorite color. Thank you again, Bridget. You did not have to do this, but I'm happy you did. Very, very nice. Love that. So last Sunday, my son, the one that lives here, took me out for my Mother's Day gift and we went and had pedicures. It was my first pedicure in four years. Can you believe it? Four years. The last one I had done was right before I had my first knee replacement. 
and hadn't been back after that because it took so long to recover from two knee replacements. And then after the knee replacements and getting better with that, I had cataract surgery done, <laughs> recovered from that, and then COVID hit. So before you know it, it's been four years. I can't believe it. But we had a great time. We had a really, really nice time. And after the pedicure, we took off for the day and just went out for a ride, went to the ocean and rode around. And we both like to do that, just get in a car and go. And uh, we spent the whole day together, which was really, really lovely. I, that was the best part of my whole week. It was wonderful. All righty, so I have a tiny little haul from Dollar Tree. And if you remember last week, I started talking about making hats for a bullying campaign called Hat Not Hate, put on by uh, Lion Brand Yarn Company. So I had made a hat using some yarn I bought at Dollar Tree and I loved it. I couldn't believe how nice and soft it was. And that was this yarn. I bought another one and it's a denim color. So soft, love it. Made a beautiful hat. So I went back and got more. So I bought an extra one of this because now I can make another hat with this because I have some left over from the other. Takes me two balls of yarn to make one hat. Um, with three balls, I could get two hats because of what's left over. And then they had this pretty light blue color, so I bought that, and as you can tell, I've used it. I'll use that one, and the next one I'll use is this navy blue. They had some other really pretty blues, but they had only one ball of them, so I couldn't, couldn't buy those for the Hat Not Hate charity that I'm giving this, giving hats to, making giving hats to. And I bought purple. I bought purple because my daughter-in-law's favorite color is purple, and she lives in Rhode Island with my son and grandkids. And I thought I would make some hats for them for Christmas this year since I'm in a hat mood. Now, I think it was Tuesday we had all those issues with the phone. Got that settled by late Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday night, my iPad died. I was devastated. I said, you have to be kidding. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't open anything. Everything just kept crashing. No matter what I did to it, it crashed and crashed and crashed. So Wednesday, Wednesday mornings is our Starbucks day. We go to Starbucks every Wednesday morning. And after Starbucks, I said, let's go. I had made an appointment for the um, Apple store at our local mall. So we went there and I got a new iPad. And it's a big iPad and it's so sensitive. This is the new iPad Air 4. I had the original iPad Air. This is bigger than the last one. Everything is just touch. Don't even have the buttons on here anymore. So I'm still learning how to use it. I'm getting along okay. Look at things are popping up. Paper and twine. May may made it. <laughs> I get those alerts all day long. And uh, I got it in a pretty rose gold color. Not that you see it that often. I am waiting for a cover for it to come in today from Amazon. And I have to tell you what I paid for this. This is a $600 iPad, $599. But I had $400 put aside from oh, casino money that I had won. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know how, I guess a year ago, I guess over a year ago before COVID started. And I had it put away in case I went back. And of course I didn't because of COVID. So there was $400 I could use. Grumpy gave me $100 for my birthday. There's $500. And then the Apple store took my old iPad and gave me $80 for it as a trade-in. So that's a total of $580. So this brand new iPad Air 4 
cost me $19. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So since I got so many, such a good deal on that, one thing I do do is use a stylus all the time. I don't like using my finger on my devices. I just don't like it. And so I always use these cheap little styluses and the little rubber tip always wore off and it was very irritating. So I splurged and bought the pencil, the Apple Pencil. And it is magnetic and sticks right to the top of my iPad. And it actually charges this way. I attach it to the iPad and it charges the um, stylus. I love this was expensive. It was expensive. This is $129. But since I got such a great deal on my new iPad, I splurged and bought the stylus that I like. So that was my big, big haul of the week. So I did nothing in paper crafting all week long. Between all of these places we had to go and things we had to settle, I just had no desire whatsoever to do paper crafting. But I did make hats. So I'll show you the hats that I've made so far. This was the first one I made. This pretty blue. This is a yarn I had gotten at um, uh, Hobby Lobby. And it's called I Love This Yarn. And I do love this yarn. It's very soft. I don't know if you can see the pattern very well. It's got a herringbone pattern here and some uh, puff stitches here and the edge. And it's really, really pretty hat. I like it a lot. Liked it so much that I made another one. <laughs> and I'll probably make more of these. And it's the same. And this is that denim blue yarn that I bought from Dollar Tree. And this is so nice and soft too. So that's two that I made with that um, pattern. Then I made this one. It's really dark blue. And I don't know if you can see this. Let's see how the, I don't know if you can see the ridges on the top of the hat. And then there's a different a band of stitches in the center. And then here's the ridges again here. I really like this one too. So it's three that I did this week and then yesterday I did this one with this Dollar Tree yarn. And this one's really cute too. This is much more girly than the others but it's got the big baubles in it and the lines coming down. There's a name for that, but I can't remember what it is. That's the top. I don't know how well you can see them. I hope they come out okay. Put a little trim on the bottom. It's a really cute hat. It's a really cute hat. I think if I make this one again, which I will most likely, um, I'm not going to use the hook size that was called for in the pattern. I'm going to go down a size. Um, it fits fine. I try them all on to make sure that they are big enough for teenage boys and girls. And uh, it fit fine, but I felt it was a little bit loose because it's a little more lacy, for lack of a better term, than the others were more solid. So I, I'll go down a size on hook to make it a little bit tighter. But those are the four hats I've gotten done so far this week. And that's it. That's it. I have been crocheting and trying to learn my new iPad. And that's it. That's That was my week. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy week. And I hope everything settles down now and I don't go nuts again next week like I did this week. So I hope you all have a wonderful, fabulous weekend. And we'll talk again soon. Love yous. Bye.